Hi, welcome to this wellness program. My name is Dr. Rama Prasad. Um, I'm an Ayurveda doctor. Um, I'm in this Ayurvedic field for the last um, 27 years, um, mostly in Australia, um, consulting and training. Um, and today I want to talk about um, skin health. Psoriasis is seen in Australia. Um, around six or seven percent of people have it and half the population have it at one time um, in, their, uh, in their life. Um, and uh, we are going to explore what psoriasis is and uh, how to um, manage it. Um, in, in my clinic, uh, I get around 10 to 20 percent, uh, 10 to 12 percent um, clients uh, with psoriasis. And um, when you look at psoriasis, it's um, um, it's a skin condition, as you know, and um, it falls under the category dermatitis. When you look at Ayurvedic dermatology, um, the approach, the understanding is extremely similar to the mod modern or Western uh, understanding. 6,000 years back, Ayurvedic dermatologists and scientists uh, classified skin into seven layers. Modern understanding about skin is the same. There are seven layers to skin. It's striking that um, at a time when there was no microscopes, they discovered the same exact number of layers to the skin as we do now. Um, Ayurveda classifies skin conditions into um, a number of categories. We can uh, simplify them into uh, inflammation, autoimmune conditions, uh, degenerations, and depletion. Uh, inflammation is most uh, widely seen and autoimmune um, conditions are following uh, soon after. Um, inflammation means um, any disease um, uh, that ends up ends in itis is an inflammation. So inflammation means a body is fighting a pathogen. Pathogen could be anything that body doesn't like, body cannot process. So it attacks it, um, which is the sign of good health so something in you know gets into the body body attacks it and it's inflammation so inflammation is body's attack on pathogen or toxin or any foreign body so when there is inflammation ayurveda advises to help the body fight it in the best possible way and uh, we have devised a huge range of um, uh, therapeutic uh, protocols to achieve this so when you look at dermatitis, it's uh, inflammation in the skin and skin tissues are attacking pathogen. Psoriasis is a type of uh, inflammation. Now Ayurvedic understanding about um, in immune system is very interesting. Immune system gets energy from normal digestion and metabolism. It's just like um, uh, our tax system. Uh, we work hard. We pay tax and that tax money comes and helps us uh, building roads and bridges and schools and hospitals. Um, similarly, when the body functions properly, it um, gains energy and stores the energy and it becomes part of the immune system and the immune system will protect us. Um, so the uh, autoimmune conditions, um, as it is called in the Western medicine, um, Ayurveda has got a different take on it. Um, the so-called uh, autoimmune conditions in Ayurvedic view is body stops or immune system stops paying attention to an organ or tissue where there is an inflammation. It's called autoimmune inflammation. So in auto, uh, autoimmune inflammation body stops or immune system stops paying uh, attention to a particular part of the body because that part is not paying, uh, generating energy and sending back to the immune system. Um, so um, autoimmune conditions and degenerative conditions are there and then depletion. Depletion means that uh, skin doesn't have enough nutrients to produce and work like normal. 
So here, psoriasis, a type of uh, dermato uh, dermatitis, um, so it's inflammation and there's autoimmune, um, it's also an autoimmune condition. So we need to, uh, Ayurveda comes up. So Ayurveda comes up with um, a two-pronged approach. One, to generate uh, inflama um, immune energy, so to re regenerate, rebuild uh, immune system and increase the immune energy and to um, deal with the in inflammation. How Ayurveda uh, addresses inflammation is very interesting because when you um, look at uh, the Western medicine, when there's inflammation, uh, uh, Western um, medical approach is to stop the inflammation because inflammation is the problem. But Ayurvedic understanding is inflammation is body's attack on pathogen. Now that is common to Western and Ayurvedic. So Ayurveda helps the body dissolve the toxin and flush it. And after that, Ayurveda helps the skin repair and come back to normal. So this is the anti-inflammatory anti approach in Ayurvedic medicine. So briefly, uh, Ayurveda helps the body to dissolve the toxin and flush it. And soon after we try to repair the skin and bring it back to normal. So this tish, uh, toxin dissolving, flushing, tissue repairing, three, three phases are there. Uh, along with this, in psoriasis, we need to build uh, body's immune energy. How do we do this? With everything that we have, nutrition, herbs, cleanses, um, and any, anything else that's available. Uh, we need to remember that um, without removing these toxins, there's no cure, there's no symptom, uh, there's not even, uh, we cannot even control the disease. Control the disease means removing the pathogen or toxin. Without removing it, you cannot control the condition. But you can, with um, uh, various um, um, drugs, you can temporarily control it while the disease is still growing. This is why we get um, psoriatic arthritis and psoriatic other conditions um, because we are not controlling or sub, uh, stopping uh, the uh, autoimmune inflammation which is psoriasis. So Ayurveda has the tools and techniques to um, remove the symptoms and pathology at the same time. Hope uh, you have um, got an understanding about how Ayurveda works with um, psoriasis. And if you have more questions, um, any questions, you can contact me anytime. Now we'll take a break and when we come back, we have more uh, amazing programs. Welcome back again. This is Ayurveda Dr. Rama Prasad. Um, let's look at uh, how um, we treat psoriasis in a clinic. Um, say you went to an Ayurveda doctor, um, he will uh, or she will check um, various parts of your body such as pulse or tongue or just simply ask uh, symptoms and um, uh, you know any medical reports or anything like that. Once um, uh, the, your doctor, Ayurveda practitioner, gets a uh, clear understanding about um, how far the psoriasis has gone um, and which part of the digestive system it's to, you know, originating from, which are the organs that are affected, which is why your skin is showing the symptom. Now, that point is really important. Anyhow, once they get that, they will plan, a, a give you a protocol to combat it. Now, when I said that, which is, uh, which is why the skin is showing this symptom, psoriasis in Ayurveda is a disease that appears on the skin. It's not a skin condition. You can say it's a skin condition, but originally it's not a skin condition. It's, it's a condition that affects the skin. So what is the condition and where is it coming from? Usually we find um, an organ that is responsible, which is aggravating it and a part of the gut digestive tract that is uh, creating it. 
So we talked about um, inflammation. Inflammation requires a pathogen and immune system getting the tissue to attack the pathogen because it's an intruder. So that is inflammation. Now, when the uh, uh, pathogen, when the pathogen is uh, formed in your gut, in a part of your gut, could be stomach, could be small intestine, could be large intestine, could be any any part, and gets um, uh, you know uh, starts moving into a part of your body, which is skin in in psoriasis. The treatment will be uh, mainly focusing on the origin of the disease, which is the gut, and most probably there'll be an organ or two or three. Um, aggravating the whole condition such as liver or uh, kidney or gallbladder. Now these are all st uh, new concepts or strange concepts when you look at uh, psoriasis from a western angle. But Ayurveda always talked about the gut connection to various tissues of, of, uh, with every tissue from time immemorial. So that's not new. I, for Ayurveda practitioners it's not new. But uh, the western medicine is discovering it. So we always, um, Ayurveda always treated um, gut first, organs next, and then the, uh, uh, the tissues affected by the disease. So a skin condition is not a skin condition, it's more like a bodily condition which needs to be treated holistically, addressing the origin of the disease which is usually a part of your digestive tract, and then an organ or other part of your body that might be aggravating it. So what we do is we try to clear the gut as much as possible and try to um, give your digestive tract that food and combinations that it can process um, and the herbs to reactivate your digestive functions which includes digestive flora. Ayurveda has got a number of uh, concepts about di uh, digestive flora. Um, just to throw some words, um, uh, Jatra Agni, uh, Pachaka Pitam, uh, Pitta Dharakala and Grahani. These are all the terminology we use. And now recently uh, the Western uh, scientists discovered an organ uh, in our gut called microbiome. When you analyze these four concepts um, and microbiome, it's the exact same con uh, concepts, exactly the same. So Ayurveda um, is constantly being rediscovered by the modern science, which is fantastic. So how do we treat uh, the condition? We, stage one is clearing the gut and creating a healthy environment in the gut. This can be done along with your skin protocol. So the gut protocol gut protocol, and uh, you know, organ protocol will be all done along with your skin protocol. In a typical skin protocol, we'll have a skin uh, tonic and a fluid tonic and a gut tonic. The skin tonic um, will be a bunch of herbs uh, that are proven to be effective uh, over the last 6,000 years. And uh, what it does is, uh, oh, that, that mixture does uh, one thing, it dissolves the pathogen or toxin and push it into the fluids. Along with that, it repairs the skin, tries to bring it, uh, bring it back to the normal shape and size and functions. As fluid, pro, uh, fluid tonic will make sure the toxins are moved across the fluid through the lymphatic system or blood uh, system, whichever into the gut and the gut tonic will fly, uh, make sure the gut is flushed frequently, uh, adequately, so that um, uh, toxins are not going back to the tissues to aggravate the condition. So these are the three factors in a typical Ayurveda prescription. Um, once you understand how body is zoned, you, know, you will, you will uh, realize this is very logical. Um, you know, there are many classifications of body zones and this is one of them, tissue, fluid and gut. Nutrients go into the gut through the fluids, they arrive into the tissues and waste materials in the reverse order. And when there's a toxin, it will end up in the tissue, one of the tissues could be anywhere, joints or skin or kidney or liver, heart walls or brain cells or you know, tonsils or 
any organ in your body. And um, in a typical Ayurvedic protocol, there will be a tissue remedy to clear the tissues, move the toxins into the fluid. And um, the second one will be a, t a fluid remedy to move the fluid, uh, the toxins through the fluid and a gut remedy to flush the gut adequately. This is the most scientific approach in, or logical approach I should say, in healing your skin. Um, so questions like, you know, what if I put a cream on my skin and it's helping? Yes, symptomatically it will help. It's fantastic. There are thousands of creams out there to help with that. But if you want to remove the disease, there's only one way. We need to work with the skin, fluids and gut. So that's, that's how Ayurveda works. Now we do incorporate um, daily routine into it. Daily routine is uh, connecting you into the day's rhythms, 24 hours rhythms, uh, such as um, you, must, uh, you must have heard of circadian rhythm. This is the time your sleep st starts. If you are not ready, you're physically not ready, you miss that window and you cannot sleep. If you don't sleep, you can't repair your body. This is the daily uh, repair. So there's a number of um, effective uh, techniques where I, I have a doctor can plug you back into the power source, which is the daily routine. So this is how um, Ayurveda practitioners, Ayurveda handles um, a health condition such as psoriasis. Thank you for being with us uh, this time. Uh, next time we have Ayurveda nutrition for reversing age and removing diseases. This is Ayurveda Dr. Rama Prasad. Bye for now.